The World Wide Fund for Nature, WWF, is actually one of the most uh, reputable international independent conservation organizations. Our programs span projects on deforestation, illegal wildlife trade, marine conservation, and of course, sustainable finance in a way that we work with individual businesses as well as the governments. In fact, in our efforts to combat illegal wildlife trade, we have been running our flagship volunteer program called the Cyber Spotters Program. Illegal wildlife trade is actually the second largest driver for species extinction, just next to habitat loss. Actually, saving illegal wildlife products from online marketplaces is not an easy task. Our cyber spotters, that's what we call our volunteers, take a lot of time to ensure that the data that they are submitting to us is valid. And after that, our staff actually go through the manual verification of each of those listings before we share it with the stakeholders. Given that illegal wildlife trade is a very, very time sensitive issue, reducing this turnaround time is key to ensuring that we can curb the trade and of course save the species as well. Our WWF IWT hub, the illegal wildlife trade hub that is based out of Hong Kong, we're looking for a machine learning solution to look at online listings of illegal wildlife products. And it so happened that they chanced upon AISG through our Singapore office. Coincidentally, the Singapore office had the relevant training data to pass it to AISG to develop the model through our Cyber Spotters program. The training data had information on elephant ivory, wildcat products, pangolin scales, and these are some of the data classes that we started with. One of our main challenges is a turnaround time between collection of the data and sharing the validated data with the stakeholders. The AI solution reduces this turnaround time greatly because it is able to reduce one layer of agreements checks that either our experienced volunteers or our staff would do. So we are able to ensure that the inference solution that the model gives us has a significantly higher number of accurate predictions on the listings not just whether they're positive or negative, but also down to what is the data class that this particular listing belongs to. Using technology is a key solution to ensuring that we are able to address this issue in a timely manner. This particular AI solution is a step in the right direction for WWF to act for our nature. One of the memorable aspects of the model was the adaptability. In fact, we were able to incorporate a translator and to include the emojis that were part of the online listings into the prediction tools as well. There was also additional data that we had on sea turtles that were incorporated through the course of development of this model. The other key highlight I would say is that we were able to bring all this out to the public during a flagship outreach event called the Festival of Biodiversity. I think the unique aspect about this project is that it used both text and images from these online listings to make the prediction on these products. It was a great experience to work with the AISG apprentices and the project team. What next is to work on testing out the AI model and to reach out to our other offices to see how it can be widely used. We are also currently in the deployment phase and are developing complementary systems so that we can automate more of the process between collection of the data and sharing of the data as well. We are also working with the AI apprenticeship program graduates in the development of this dashboard. At the end of it, illegal wildlife trade as an issue requires the collaboration of everyone around, not just people who are passionate about wildlife, but also tech people like those at AISG to come together so that we can combat this illegal trade and ensure that the species continue to survive and thrive.